Empire LARP Nations in 5 Minutes or Less Dawn Firstly, Dawn are heroic. The territories include Astolat Weirwater Semaholm The Barons. Five things about Dawn. Nobility is an achievement, not a birthright. Nobility is vaunted in Dawn, but it is a nobility of spirit they admire, not a title that you inherit. A great life leaves a legend. The only thing that remains when you depart this life is the memory of how you lived it. Death is nothing compared to great deeds. Glorious in victory, proud in defeat. The Dornish relish a challenge. Those more skilled present an opportunity for glory by defeating them. And those less skilled offer you an opportunity to demonstrate your prowess. You cannot armour the soul. The Dornish do not hide the great passions of the song. They wear their hearts on their sleeve. Courtship, romance and tragedy. The rules of the heart are complex in Dawn. Sometimes love is the greatest challenge. Dornish archetypes. Brace yourself. Earl. The Earl of a Dornish noble house is the house's leader, who leads the house in all its great achievements and who sets its conditions of membership. Knights errant are engaged in their test of metal. Still technically yo-folk, they are expected and are questing to prove themselves glorious. Questing Knight. Questing Knights are those knights who have proved themselves worthy in their test of metal and have chosen to keep on questing for ever greater glory. Troubadour. A troubadour is a priest who learns all the stories of their noble house, past and present, and tells them in poetry and song to inspire their people to greatness. Witch. Witches are Dornish magic users. In noble houses, they fight alongside the house's warriors. Most others belong to weaver cabals, independent groups of ritual witches, which accept both yo folk and noble members. Geyser. Itinerant entertainers who often combine magic with their performances and practice dramaturgy. They are often, sometimes justly, accused of being spies, tricksters and mountebanks, as well as performers. Enchanter. Some earls who have studied magic choose the title Earl Enchanter, or simply Enchanter. Most learn ritual magic to benefit their people. Some build relationships with powerful summer eternals. Seneschal. A noble house's seneschal is a trusted yofolk who oversees its financial affairs, arranging deals and trades and keeping the house solvent. Advocate. Dornish advocates are yo-folk politicians who navigate the murky waters of Senate politics for their noble masters. Retainer. A yo-folk retainer is a Dornish noble's most trusted attendant, who works closely with a particular noble, or sometimes for the whole house. What Dorn is not. Chivalrous. Dornish nobility are always intensely competitive. They don't open doors for anybody, male, female or otherwise. Dornish women are independent and as obsessed with glory as their male counterparts. Required to be honourable. The Dornish obsession is with triumph and renown. It does not demand a generous spirit. Look and feel. Influences. Idealised high medieval. Pre-Raphaelite. Arthurian. The colour palette is summer, a meadow in full bloom. It's a myriad of bright floral colours accented with some darker jewel shades. Gold, emerald green, bright reds, clear sky blues set off against an occasional sumptuous black. Whatever the colour, it should be vivid and lush, but remain tasteful. To finish, here are some examples of players in their kit. <laughs> 